Once hailed as the perfect royal couple, the glamorous life of Princess Haya bint Hussein and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has shattered in a tale of secrecy, scandal and escape. In 2019, the world was stunned when Princess Haya fled from her luxurious Dubai palace to London, fearing for her life and her children's safety. But what drove her to such desperate measures? Was it a forbidden affair or something far more sinister lurking behind the palace walls? In this video, we will unravel the shocking revelations from one of the largest divorce trials in British history, where allegations of control, forced marriage and hidden abuse came to light. From secret love affairs to a multi-million dollar settlement, we will explore the dark undercurrents behind the glittering facade. But before we dive into the fascinating life of Princess Haya and her dramatic escape from Dubai, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. Let's get started. A Royal Escape In March 2019, the world was taken by surprise when Princess Haya bint Hussein, wife of Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, fled her luxurious palace in Dubai. Once a public figure who attended glamorous events and was admired by many, Haya left behind her royal life in the dead of night. She fled to London with her two young children, seeking refuge and protection from her powerful husband. But why did she run? What pushed this once glamorous princess to make such a bold and dangerous move? As the half-sister of King Abdullah II of Jordan, Haya's escape was no ordinary departure. Reports suggest she had been planning her escape for months, possibly even years, fearing for her own safety and that of her children. But this wasn't just a personal crisis, it was a diplomatic incident, with German diplomats rumoured to have played a key role in securing her safe passage to Europe. Sheikh Mohammed, known for his iron grip on Dubai, was left scrambling, not just to bring his children back, but to maintain his image as a revered leader. This wasn't just a royal escape, it was a calculated flight for survival, with much more at stake than just her freedom the truth about her marriage. To the outside world, Princess Haya and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum seemed like the perfect royal couple. Their appearances at international events, Haya's radiant smile and the splendor of Dubai made it seem like a fairy tale. But behind the grand palace doors, things were far from perfect. Haya was Sheikh Mohammed's sixth wife and their marriage was anything but a traditional love story. Haya, a highly educated and accomplished princess who studied at Oxford and competed in the Olympics, was initially drawn to the sheikh's power and charm, with their romance reportedly starting at a horse-riding event in Spain. Yet, beneath the surface, she struggled with her role as a younger wife in a polygamous marriage. She had to navigate a world where her voice was diminished and her freedom restricted. Rumours of control and manipulation began to surface. She reportedly faced resentment from the sheikh's other children and internal family pressures. Over time, Haya became increasingly isolated and unhappy, raising questions about what really happened behind those palace walls. Public displays of affection masked the true strain within the marriage, but eventually it all became too much. What once appeared to be a glamorous life was, in reality, a prison from which Princess Haya desperately sought to escape. The scandalous affair. In the midst of Princess Haya's dramatic escape, rumours of a scandalous affair began to swirl. Allegedly, Haya had been involved in a secret relationship with her British bodyguard, Russell Flowers, a man 10 years her junior. The affair, according to reports, had been going on for two years, during which Flowers received lavish gifts and large sums of money, fueling the flames of speculation. But was there any truth to these claims? Or was this a calculated attempt by Sheikh Mohammed to tarnish his estranged wife's reputation? The rumours intensified when intimate messages and compromising photos were reportedly found by Flower's wife, leading to the collapse of his marriage. Soon after, Flowers divorced his wife and the whispers surrounding his relationship with Haya became impossible to ignore. 
Media outlets speculated that the affair was one of the reasons behind Haya's fear for her life and her eventual escape from Dubai. However, some believe the affair was fabricated by Sheikh Mohammed, a strategic move to discredit Haya in court and gain leverage in their custody battle. During the divorce proceedings, Haya denied the affair, and Flowers remained silent, adding to the mystery. Was this truly a case of forbidden love, or merely an elaborate plot to smear the princess's name? The truth remains elusive. The shocking courtroom revelations. As the divorce battle between Princess Haya and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum unfolded in London's High Court, shocking revelations about their private lives came to light. What began as a custody dispute over their two children soon became one of the most scandalous legal battles in British history. Haya's testimony exposed a world of fear, control and intimidation, shattering the public image of her powerful husband. One of the most explosive claims was that Sheikh Mohammed had plotted to force their then 11-year-old daughter, Al Jalila, into an arranged marriage with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. This revelation shook the courtroom, highlighting the lengths to which Haya believed the Sheikh would go to control their children's futures. Fearing for her daughter's safety, Haya sought legal protection, filing for a non-molestation order against her husband. But the most damning evidence came in the form of secret recordings and allegations of domestic abuse. Haya claimed that she had been subjected to years of manipulation and even surveillance by her husband's agents. The court also heard about the brutal treatment of Sheikh Mohammed's own daughters, Latifa and Shamsa, both of whom had previously attempted to escape their father's rule. These shocking disclosures painted a dark and chilling picture of life behind the palace walls, leaving the world stunned by the extent of the Sheikh's power and control. A record-breaking divorce settlement. The divorce of Princess Haya bint Hussein and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum didn't just make headlines for its high-profile drama, it also set a new record in British legal history. In 2021, after years of courtroom battles, a UK court ordered Sheikh Mohammed to pay Princess Haya a staggering $728 million in what became the largest divorce settlement ever recorded in the UK. The sum included funds to ensure the safety and security of Princess Haya and her two children, Al Jalila and Zayed, as they now face the prospect of a life under constant threat. This monumental settlement was not just about wealth, it was a testament to the unprecedented fear and pressure Haya lived under. The court considered the need for heightened security, as Haya feared continued surveillance, harassment or even abduction by her ex-husband. Sheikh Mohammed's history of controlling and intimidating behaviour, including hacking Haya's phone and those of her lawyers, further solidified the court's decision to award such an enormous amount. This divorce settlement didn't just close the chapter on a tumultuous marriage, but marked a landmark legal victory for Haya. It symbolised her struggle for freedom, safety and custody of her children, ensuring that she could begin a new life, free from her husband's reach. Life after the trial since winning her historic divorce settlement and securing full custody of her two children, Princess Haya bint Hussein has largely retreated from the public eye. After years of living under intense scrutiny and fear, her primary focus now is creating a safe and peaceful life for her daughter Al Jalila and son Zayed. With her diplomatic status as Jordan's deputy ambassador to the United Kingdom, Haya has found a sanctuary in London, far from the grasp of her former husband, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Although she rarely makes public appearances, Haya's life post-trial is centred on protecting her children and ensuring their security, especially with the lingering threats from Dubai. The royal family of Jordan, particularly her brother King Abdullah II, played a crucial role in shielding her from potential retribution. And Haya now enjoys both political and familial protection in the UK.
the enormous financial settlement has allowed her to maintain a lifestyle of discretion, affording top-level security and private education for her children. However, despite the legal victory, there is still a sense of unease. Will Sheikh Mohammed continue his attempts to regain custody? For now, Princess Haya seems focused on giving her children the calm and stable life they were once denied, far from the palace walls of Dubai and the drama of their past. As Princess Haya bint Hussein continues to rebuild her life, far from Dubai's glittering palaces, her story serves as a powerful reminder of the strength it takes to stand up against one of the most powerful men in the world. Her fight for freedom and the safety of her children unfolded on the global stage, revealing the dark secrets behind a seemingly perfect royal marriage. Yet, even with a record-breaking divorce settlement and newfound freedom, questions linger. Will this be the end of the saga, or is more to come? Only time will tell. If you found this story compelling, make sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more captivating stories from around the world. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.